square we have the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is given by, if you want to find the area of this triangle here, this triangle which is here. Hmm? So to get the area of that triangle, which is given by, who can give me, what's the formula for that area of that triangle, if you know? So area of a triangle is equal to a half. A half times OA times OB, then psi theta. Members, are we together? Are we together? Yes. 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 The area of that triangle is given by a yes. uh, half times OA times OB sine of the angle theta. That angle theta is the angle between these two sides, the red eye here and this red eye here. It's the angle which is in between. So let me see whether they used it. I think they didn't use it, but they didn't show it to us, but that's how we get the area. Of it. So it means that the area is equal to a half times R times R, then sine theta. That's the area of the, of the triangle. That's the area of the triangle. And if someone wants to get to the area of the segment, so let me remove this. <laughs> So if someone wants to get to this shaded region here, this shaded region, yeah. that shaded region. I don't just changed it. Not good. <clears throat> You're not getting me. Teacher. Yes. I've just I've not got the way how they get the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle. Uh the area of a triangle. Now this is this is this is a triangle which is isosceles. So we have R here and R here. So, so to get to the area of this triangle here, it is given by a half times this other side, O A, then times O B. Make sure that these sides you are saying O A and O B, they are the sides where, uh, for which the angle is in between them. So O A and O B, the angle is in between them. So it is a half times OA times OB, then sine of this angle th theta. So that means that it is a half, a half times R times R sine theta, sine theta. So for you to get now the area of the shaded area of the shaded which name is given to the area of the shaded? Which name is given to the area of the shaded? I'm asking. Which name is given to the area of the shaded? Wendy, which name is given to the area of the shaded? Minor segment. Correct. Minor segment. Area of the shaded or the minor segment is equal to the area of a sector. minus area of the tra minus area of the triangle. So it means that it means that in that case we shall have theta theta out of 360 uh, pi r squared then minus a half times r times r sine what? Sine theta. Sine theta. That will give you the area of the minor segment. So properties, what are the properties of the code? We've just seen that the code is the line A, B. Line A, B, 
is what we call the co the code. So what are these properties of the code? Some of you are having phones and sometimes you wish that you would take just a snapshot of that. So I recommend you do that very fast before I change. Okay, hope you're done. All right, yes. so let us look at the properties of a code. Properties of a code. Properties of a code. Now, there are quite a uh, few properties here of a code, but what you should know is that <clears throat> A code is just a line drawn from one point of the circumference to another point of a, of a circumference. So let us see. <coughs> Excuse me for that. So they are telling you that part A, perpendicular bisector of a code, of any code of a circle, passes through the center of the circle. Perpendicular bisector. Hmm? Members, follow these notes very well. What is here is what I'm going to do for you here, and I show you what they are talking about. So part A, they are saying that the perpendicular bisector of any chord of a circle, perpendicular, perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector of any chord of a circle, passes through passes through the center of the circle. That's the first one. Now, what do they mean by this? That if you have got a circle, I want us to look at this part here, this part which is here. So if you have a circle that is drawn, And then <clears throat> there is a chord, A, B. Even I can, let me draw it like this. I need to know what you are talking about. So that is the chord. This is the center. A chord A, a chord B. So it means that the perpendicular bisector, what's a perpendicular bisector? A perpendicular bisector is a line that will cut this line AB into two. But this line meets line AB at an angle of 90 degrees. So when you look at, if this is point O, and I'm to draw a line that, will bi that would bisect AB into two equal parts, that means it is bisecting into two equal parts, then that line also meets the line a b at an angle of 90 degrees then if i'm to draw that line from o to this part here, to this point here of the circumference then that line is what we call a perpendicular bisector so that perpendicular bisector bisects the chord what is our chord our chord is a and if mm -hmm. I call this one, if I call this one point C, then I will see, I will say that uh, our perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular bisector is, is what? Is OC. Now we together, is OC. Because it will, it cuts AB at 90, D, at 90 degrees. So that line that bisects the chord into two always meets at the same, at the center. If you are to do a line that bisects this point, this line AB into two from this point, it should be able to meet at the center of that circle. And we have said perpendicular bisector, meaning that it is at 90, D, 90 degrees. Degrees. Yes. So that's the first point that you should note down. And then now you can, you can form now a triangle by adding these dotted lines. Like that. And also this one. Like that. OK. 
Okay. So at point M, O, O, M, O, O, C, O, M, O, M is a perpendicular bisector. It can be also, also, O, M is also a perpendicular bisector of A, B. That is the first one. The, the second one, part B is, it's what we call the perpendicular bisector. And this one is what you call a chord. Okay. Now, let us go to part B. They are saying that a perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord. Good. Note, in both cases, the angle at the center is bisected by the perpendicular bisector of the chord. So what are they meaning there? I can repeat that one for you. They are saying that a perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to the chord bisects the chord. A perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord, bisects this chord. Full stop. They are also saying that not in both cases, in both cases, the angle at the center the angle which is here at the center if this is the angle we have the angle theta at the center there if that's the angle we have theta then that angle theta is bisected into two equal parts by the perpendicular bisector so the perpendicular bisector does not only bisect the code into two such that this side is equal to this side, does not bisect the code into two, but also it bisects the angle at the center into two equal parts. What do they mean? They mean that if this angle from here up to this point here, if this angle theta was equal to 60 degrees, are we together? Then, if we draw a perpendicular bisector bisecting the chord into two, that perpendicular bisector also bisects the angle into two. So it means that here we will have 30, and also here we will have what? 30 degrees. Members, are we together? Are we together? Yes. yes. So it means that we would have 30 degrees there, and also this other side would have 30 degree degrees. So a perpendicular bisector bisects the angle into two equal parts, such that we have 30 degrees on this other side. So this would give us, this would be angle. If we are to get angle A O M then it will be 30 degrees and also angle M or B will be also 30 degrees. Because if theta was 60, then the perpendicular bisector bisects this one into two, such that we have 30 here, we have 30 here. I'm just using 60 as an example, but it can be 15, it can be 27, it can be, four, theta can be 13 theta can be 50. So whatever the angle is between these two red eye, that angle is bisected into two by the perpendicular bise bisector. So that's point uh, part B that you should note down that, uh, note down and say that the perpendicular, the perpendicular bisector, bisector, of any chord, of any chord, okay, of any chord, uh, in in uh, in both cases, in both of any chord, we are here of any chord bisects, sorry, bisects the chord. So the perpendicular bisector of any chord. Sorry, I think 
of the should repeat this and say the perpendicular perpendicular the perpendicular drawn sorry the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle bisects the chord bisects the chord we stop the angle at the center is bisected is bisected by the perpendicular bisector of the the chord so should you should remove this one okay <clears throat> that's uh, that's the point that you should note down that the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle of the circle bisects the chord then the angle at the center is bisected by the perpendicular bisector of the co chord <clears throat> then the other part that you should know is that equal chords at equal chords are equal distant from the center so point c is that if you go to point c they are saying that equal chords equal chords are equidistant what's the meaning of the word equidistant eh what's the meaning of the word equidistant esther what's the meaning of the word equidistant they have the same distance they have the same distance correct so they are equidistant from the center they have the same distance from the same from the same equal chords are equidistant from the center they have the same distance from the center the way you see in this second circle here so this is the code b a b and another code d c so if they are of the same length if a b is equal to if a b is equal to c d then those two codes are equidistant from the center they have the same distance from the same from the center so they continue and say that conversely if chords from if chords of a circle are equidistant from the center they are equal in length they are equal in length so and you can say if chords are equidistant from the center then are of equal then are of equal length that's the other part that you should note down and you go ahead and you draw a circle there and show that property how it looks like So members, you should not miss out. Uh, there is chemistry coming in at 10.20. And there is also, uh, uh, there's also what? Is it uh, biology? That biology is study. But you should not miss out those other lessons that are coming in. And also the other thing is that if you have, If you have attended this lesson, then make sure that the next the next lesson you also attend such that you don't have uh, gaps in between. 
we can have gaps in between. Okay. So these are the two chords, and we suppose those two chords are equal. So we have uh, A and B. We have D, C. So this is the center. So if those two chords are equidistant, meaning that from the from the center, if we are to draw a, a bisector here from the center here, if we draw a line, okay, must be a line there at ninety degrees, and also this one. Meet at the center, then at that point where they meet, sorry, at this point where they meet is what we call the center, it is noted as O. Then if this is M and this is N, then what you should know is that uh, if, 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 if OM, if OM equals to ON, then it means that then it means that also a b equals to c what c b so if they are equidistant then they are also equal then those two chords are also equal so what are the chords that we have we have two chords we have a b and so those are the two causes that we have. And these other lines, OM and ON, they are equal, meaning that if they are equal, also the codes are equal to one another. Yes, Leticia. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the angle between angle M, O, N, 90 degrees? Come again, angle, you are saying angle? M-O-N. Angle, M-O-N. Let us say that angle, M-O-N. M-O-N. You are asking whether it is 90 degrees? This angle here? Yes. This, no, it is, not yes, 90, it is not 90 degrees. We shall find out. Are we together? Yes, teacher. We shall find out what that angle is. We shall find out what that angle is. All right, so here we have examples, and these examples, they are trying to help us to understand some of these properties which are here, and also to understand this part of the code of a circle, how to get the area which is shaded, how to find the area of the triangle, how to find the length of the code, so let us see these examples. And at the end of these examples, you shall be able to understand what these properties are talking about. So the first example 3.3 .3 is saying that XY is a code of length 12 centimeters of a circle of radius 10 centimeters. Center O, center O, so we have center O somewhere. Calculate the part A, the angle X or Y. So without wasting time, and this is the most interesting part where we need to apply the rules or the properties of the code. So without wasting time, you come and say, what is my solution? So come and say, I'm looking at example Example 3.3. Okay, and I'm going to get my solu solution. So my solution will start by drawing the circle they are talking about. And this circle is of, uh, is of radius 10 centimeters. So I don't need to first go to my ruler and I measure 10 centimeters. Wow, that would be too big for me, isn't it? 
So I'm just sketching that. I'm just sketching that. So I come and sketch this and I draw a circle. Okay, that's my circle there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to suppose that the radius is 10 centimeters. That is it. But they have told me that there is a code XY. So I'll come and draw my code XY. You know a code? A code is a line that joins two parts, two points of the circumference. So two points on the circumference are joined by a line. And that line is what we call a code. So I can decide to draw one here. Are we together? Hmm? And I'll put, I can put it here, here or here, anywhere. I can put it here, anywhere, anywhere I want. So I can put it here, anyway. Put it here. Come on, just do something that is big for us. Okay, that is B, that's A. Now a line that joins. Okay, now this time we don't have A and B, sorry for cramming, but we have X and what? We have X and what? X and Y, isn't it? We have X and, X and Y. X and Y. We have X and Y. So this is X. The other one is Y. Is Y. Now we know that the radius is 10 centimeters. So I'll come and draw the radius. So from the center to point X, I have the radius there. I make it in dotted lines. So that is my radius 10 centimeters and another radius here. Ten centimeters. So I have ten centimeters here, and I have also ten centimeters here. That is it. What are they asking for? Before they ask something, let us see. They are saying that calculate the angle X or Y. X or Y. Members, are you there? They're asking you to find which angle. X or Y. Ah, they're asking that angle theta. They're asking for that angle theta. And how would we get the angle theta? Mm -hmm. Anyone who has a suggestion how we get the angle theta? Before we look at I the think, notes. I think we first find the area of the triangle. The sec area the of a triangle. triangle. OK. Who is this one speaking? Patricia. Patricia. Patricia, okay, let us see. If we find the area of the triangle first, let me see. What's the area of a triangle? It's given by a half. Times R times R times R times sine. Sine theta. Okay, now two of th these things. Do we have theta? No. 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 Do we have the area? Yes. We have yes. that. We have that area. Yes. Uh, uh, we don't. So how do we find the angle X or Y? To first find the area of the sector. Okay. Area of a sector is given by theta out of three hundred sixty times pi r squared. Okay, time is pi r squared. Mm -hmm. Correct. So do you have area? No. We don't have the area, isn't it? Do we have theta? Yes. Do we have do we do we have we do have theta? No, we don't have theta. So let us see what we are going to do, members. Let us what we are going to do. So we are, we are going to apply this. We are going to apply this and then we find out what the answer is. Are we together? Yes. Okay. 
So remember that they gave us the length of the cord. If I maybe 12 centimeters is the length of the core, is the length of the cord. XY is 12 centimeters. XY is 12 centimeters. Okay. Some people are saying now they can find the angle theta. Is it true? Link. Yeah. <laughs> so what we are going to do, members, we are going to draw a bisector here. Are we together? We are going to draw a bisector. Hmm? Let us go back here. We are going to draw a bisector. Do you see this bisector here in this diagram? It's what we are going to draw. So a bisector from this point O touching the chord into two at 90 degrees there. So what is this, this, if I call this point M, what is this distance MY? Six. Six. Zoom in there. I think you can see it now, isn't it? So this is six centimeters. And this one is also six centimeters. Six because, centimeters. because that bisector divides, uh, divides the, the, the chord into two. So now, what we are going to do is, for us to find this angle here, we know that now we can find this small angle which is here, this small angle here. Let me call this one x. Are we together? We can find that small angle x. Are we together? Yes. Yes. And if this angle is x, it means that also this angle is what? This angle is also what? X. Is also X. Very good. Is also X. Because this bisector here divides this X. angle theta into two. So if this is maybe, if this is 12, then also this one will be 12. So if this is X, then also this one is X. Such that if we add X, this X plus this X, we shall be able to get what? To get th theta. Th Okay, so let us draw that right angle, the triangle, and we find the angle theta. So I'm drawing the right angle, the triangle, the way it is. We have 10 minutes left, and we should do this question. So I have X here. So I know this is 10 centimeters. And this is six centimeters. This is 90 degrees. So how do I, how do I find X? What will I use? I'll come here and say, now, when you look at this, this side, which is here, is opposite yes. to this angle. Uh -huh. And this one is the hypo, the hypotenuse. hypotenuse. So am I going to use cos, tan, sine? What am I going to use? Sine. I'm, sine. Going, I'm going to use sine. So I'll come and say sine x. Sine x equals to the opposite over the opposite over the hypo. My sine x will be equal to my sine x. the opposite, which is six centimeters divided by the hypotenuse centimeter. So it means that so it means that x is equal to the sine inverse is of six out of ten. Six out of ten. Out of 10. And x will be equal to thirty-six point eight. Thirty-six point eight. Thirty-six point eight seven. Okay, 36 point. You can say 36.9. Now we together. That's 6.9 degrees. So it means that my angle theta, so the angle which they want, the angle, the angle uh, which they want, which is x or y, which is equal to theta, is equal to x plus a eh? x, isn't it? Which is equal to 36.9 plus 36.9. 36 
So it is the same as 36.9 times two. And what do I get? 70 what? 73.8. 73.8. Degrees, 73.8 degrees. Okay, so you can see uh, here they have 73.7. So it means that we rounded off here and we use .9, so which is still the same correct answer. So that is the first part. Now, the second part, which is part B in the next three minutes, part B. They are telling you to find the area of the minor sector. That's B. Minor sector. That's B. Area of the minor. The area of the minor segment. 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 Cut off by the court. The code X, Y. So let us look closely. So this is the, uh, we have two segments. We have this segment here, which I'm shading here. That is the first segment. And we have also this segment. So this is what we call the minor segment that is cut off by the code. So they're asking, what is this area here? So to do that, we are going to first find the area of the whole sector, then minus the area of the, tri of the triangle. Uh -huh. So let us do that, let us do that. So we find area of the area of the sector. So area of the sector is given by hmm, theta out of 360, out of 360 times pi r square. Squared. So area is equal to 73 point, you got 73 point what? Point 0.8. Point 0.8. Point 0.8, 73.8 out of 360. Mm -hmm times 22 over 7, then times 10 square, 10 squared. 10 squared. Mm -hmm. So what would be our answer there? Wendy, are we together? Yes, teacher. Okay. Wendy, let us see whether you can give us the answer. I'm also calculating it out. Mm -hmm. What's the answer, members? Sixty what? I'm getting sixty-four point four centimeters square. Squared. Don't know whether you have the same. Sixty-four point four uh, centimeters squared. Now, if this session ends, you come back for just five minutes or three minutes, and then we start, and then you go for your chemistry lesson. Okay, let us find the area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle after